Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you 50 things that I've done to my 911. I love these kind of videos on YouTube where the uh, creator just lists all the things they've done. Some are really, really little, some are actually pretty big, uh, but it's a good way to transfer ideas. And if you have any uh, comments or questions, please leave them. Most of the stuff that I'm gonna show you is actually in my uh, uh, 911 uh, playlist here on YouTube. Uh, some of it isn't, and some of the stuff I can't really show you during this video, like some of the engine modifications, but I do have videos on all of those. So I'll leave the link for the playlist, and I'll also leave as many of the links for the products that I can find. I've had this car for a while. Uh, some of these projects I did a really long time ago. The products not, might, might not be available anymore, but at least the video might give you the idea to maybe find a similar product on your own if this is some kind of modification you wanna make. I printed out the list, 50 things, that's a lot of things. I have two more things that I wanna to do to this car. One is really little, one is kind of big. I'll tell you those at the end, those will be 51 and 52, but uh, let's get to it, let's get to the list, and I hope you find some value in this video. Here's the list, and I'm just gonna work off the list. I'll uh, put the key in my pocket here, and um, you can see here, 50 things all written down, and uh, I'll try to be as steady as possible. And I wanna go quick, quickly, right, because I don't want the video to take forever, but um, I do wanna cover everything. So the first is the uh, front emblem. Let me just put this second copy down, and we've got the front emblem. So this emblem was actually made by an artist in Miami uh, it's the original emblem, and they just uh, modified it and then uh, clear-coated it. I've had it for at least five or six years. It doesn't uh, tarnish. It's held up really well. It was rather expensive. I think I paid probably uh, maybe close to 200 bucks. I still have the old emblem, uh, but I really wanted this darker theme, and it just kind of went with that, and I really, really like it. I'm not crazy about the fact that uh, I, the emblem on the wheels is the uh, original color, but hey... You know, it is what it is. Next on the list is body color washer jets. So I did do a video on this, body color washer jets. I think they just really add something to the front of the car. Um, incidentally, something that I just noticed that isn't on this list is this front air dam. I just recently got that from uh, Suncoast and it adds a little bit more aggression. It sticks out a little further. Uh, it was pretty, pretty cheap actually and really easy to install. That's not on the list, I just noticed it. The next is clear bra. So the whole front of the car has clear bra on it and you can see it right here, right there. You can see that where they cut it out, but um, this has been great. There's a couple marks here. The car isn't exactly clean, um, but there is a mark right here uh, that's in the clear bra and that would have been a paint chip for sure. So this has really helped save the car. So number four is third radiator. So. Um, I did do a video on this. Uh, mostly, I just like the way it looks. It does cool the car down. The car runs at about 196 degrees, hardly ever gets over, hardly ever gets into the 200s. Um, but it finishes off that plastic plate that they put in there and really adds some functionality to that center. Um, radiator grills, you can see. I did a video on this. Uh, they're dirty, right? But... Um, they, uh, they really look nice. They give that uh, GT3 kind of look to it. And um, I, think they, uh, I think they add something to it. Gyro disc brakes. So I never really liked the uh, original brakes and I did it mostly for cosmetics, but these brakes work incredible. I did a video on this. Uh, I'll try to get in focus there, but they look really nice and they are larger than the size of that rear. They are larger than the stock. Um, I did use stock pads uh, and they have an aluminum hat, so it drops some weight, uh, probably improved performance, uh, but they are silent. They don't squeak at all and they do produce less dust. So I'm really happy with those. <laughs> this is a really little one, valve stem caps. So these are valve stem caps from Germany. Let me get it in focus. And they are um, on your typical Mercedes, um, Porsche doesn't use them, uh, but they're an authentic German stainless steel 
bow stem cover or cap. And I just think they look really professional. I never really liked the ones that had the little Porsche emblem on them. I thought they looked tacky. These look very, they look like the, uh, the covers that the factory should have provided. Next up, polished spacers. So this is a uh, Carrera 4S, so it has the fatter rear and it also comes with factory spacers. And you can see I polished those. So if you have the original brakes and you want to uh, dress it up a little bit, you can take those off and just polish them uh, with a polishing wheel. And it really adds a little something uh, in there. It makes it look finished. Michelin tires, as you know, they come with Pirellis. Ever since I switched out to Michelin's, um, these are the Pilot Sport 4S's. I didn't want to go crazy aggressive with the, uh, with the other ones, the Cup 2's, I guess they're called. Uh, but the ride is so much better and they look better because both the uh, rears and the fronts have this um, rub, rub rash thing, rub ring, that extends out over to help protect the rim. And that just makes them look fatter and more aggressive in my opinion. So uh, replacing tires with Michelin tires is number nine. Number 10, black emblems. Uh, oh, that's back here. It's gonna be kind of a tight squeeze because I, I didn't open the garage door, but um, I went ahead and replaced the emblems with uh, Porsche 911, uh, kind of a badge. It wasn't badge delete, but it's uh, model delete and replace them in black. I, I will open the garage door in a second towards the end. It's just noisy outside, um, but black emblems was something that I did. And I don't think I did a, uh, I did that myself, but I don't think I did a video on it. I am gonna have to open the garage door. So we're gonna come back to number 11, which is exhaust tips. We'll do that when we open the garage door and look at the end. These are Fab Speed exhaust tips. They're black chrome, they're huge. They look amazing, and unfortunately you can't get them anymore. Uh, but maybe another manufacturer is making them. License plate frame uh, is back there. Headers and cats is uh, in the, so I did uh, replacement headers and free flow cats from Fab Speed. Uh, did a video on that and love it. Uh, did a plenum, love it. Did a tune, it's a cob tune, but then Fab Speed made their own tune uh, after I did these modifications. Uh, so quite a bit of, uh, of power. And, you know, this is the last of the 911s with, that are, uh, you know, the normal 911s, not a GT version that are uh, normally aspirated. As you know, all of them past the 991 are turbocharged and the visceral feeling, it's just incredible. Um, the normally aspirated larger motor, uh, really love it. Rear view mirror. So let me go ahead and open this. And this is one of the options that I added was this feature where you uh, push and hold the unlock for four seconds and it drops the top. So the first thing it does is roll down the windows, lift the back there. Yes, I, I know that's very close, but I know where the car sits, <laughs> so it'll never hit. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's called a smart top. It's on here. I don't know what number it is, but that is a really cool feature to get your top to open and your windows to come down. And the other change is you just one button. So right here, you just click this once to get the top to come up and the windows to go up instead of the old process of holding that, which is really irritating, especially if you have a manual and you're trying to shift while you're closing the top. Uh, everybody that has one of these knows that and the one button change is just really great. Um, LED clear lens side markers. So that is right here. I'll go ahead and zoom in. I replaced those uh, with the uh, clear version in LED. I really like it. Um, the drink holder. So this is a really cool thing. It's, uh, it just slips in here. It's kind of hard to see. It's stainless steel, so it does complement the aluminum features in this car. Uh, and it's a great place, it'll hold a Yeti cup. My wife uses it all the time. It's a great place to put um, a drink that's out of the way if you don't wanna feel, uh, fool with these stupid things that don't work very well, frankly. Uh, nothing has ever spilled out of this. I'll try to find the link for that. Um, but it just slips in there and it's a nice uh, cup holder completely out of the way. Um, Visors, number 18, uh, exclusive option, redid these visors for me in leather. 
and they are beautiful. The, um, the top is French stitched and the bottom is double stitched. Let's see if I can, there we go. There's a good view of it. And uh, they look great when the top is down. That's really the main reason why I did it is because of how good they look when the top is down. Uh, but if I did a video on removing the airbag sensor sticker on that, um, and then I ended up just covering them in leather. <laughs> so um, that, they just came out great. This is one of my favorite additions. The rear view mirror has also been covered in leather, and you can see it's stitched. The rear view mirror housing up there is covered in leather and stitched, and it just really looks, it, it just adds to this whole leather look. Uh, so there's a lot of leather uh, upgrades in this car, all done by exclusive option. I'll put their link in, and there's a lot of videos that I've done on exclusive option leather, and I just love the, the, the change. It really finishes the car. Let's see, we're on number 20, a blend mount. So if you're not willing to put in a, um, a uh, radar detector that is built in, this blend mount version, this is actually for a Corvette, uh, but it works amazing, and it gets the radar detector way up in there. And uh, it's really, it's permanent. It um, doesn't bounce around. It's not going to fall off the glass like the sticky suction cup version. Uh, this is an Escort, and they make it especially for the Escort mount. Blend mount. Center dash speaker, gauge leather, steering leather, dash end leather, door leather, door sill leather, and the puddle lights. So the puddle lights are right here. Uh, you can see they move around with the uh, door, right? It's just a little Porsche emblem projection. You get a nice, cool-looking uh, double light here instead of the single light. It's all LED, and it's really cool. I showed you that first because now we'll go into all of the leather. So this is redone in leather, double-stitched. Uh, the first-year car always gets an umbrella holder. This is one of the things, Porsche branded umbrella that fits right in there. Pretty neat. Uh, so that's one of the 50 things. Um, door end leather cover right here. So this plate, this card is covered in leather and dou double stitched. Adds a nice touch. The insides of the door handles are leather and they're stitched. Very nice touch. That's the only thing that, that I did to the door. The rest of this leather is factory. The center uh, speaker and chrono is now covered in leather. You can get these covered in leather, but um, I kind of liked the look of not being in leather, honestly. Um, so I only did the center speaker chrono and, and vents in leather. It really looks nice. Um, the These cards right here, um, oh no, this done in leather, uh, and it had Carrera on it. I had them redo it. And, uh, and get rid of that uh, Carrera and just do a, a more factory looking, sleek, double stitched leather center uh, console cover. Um, I don't think there's anything in here that I did, no. Uh, here is uh, this coin tray done in leather. Exclusive option did that as well. Came out really nice. It's pretty much pretty, it was a bear getting this whole thing out uh, to do that. Exclusive Options has just tons of stuff that they do, all leather, um, much more than what's done on this car. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is the steering column, and this is all numbers, you know, 20 through about 20, it looks like uh, 29. So, um, this, of course, the card, you get a little better view because the light's a little better over here. Um, of course, this is done. Um, the, uh, probably not going to be able to see very well, um, but the fuse box covers. Uh, you can't see it. I'll have to turn the light on. Uh, but the fuse box cover doors are covered in leather, and they're stitched, and they just add a, a nice look to them. The steering column cover is leather. Steering column cover right here. And the dash is leather. And by the way, one of the things is these uh, silver rings that go around the gauges. I think they add kind of an authentic classic look, more of a classic 911 look. 
but the background is leather. This part right here, instead of plastic, this is leather. And in, in most cars, it's not leather, it's plastic. And when you make it leather, it turns into this beautiful flat black that just absorbs lights and really makes your uh, gauges pop. Okay, back to the list. Where are we? Number 30, the pen. Let's make sure I covered all that. Puddle lights, center console lid, rear seat tray. I showed you all of that. So I showed you the umbrella. The phone mount is right here, magnetic phone mount. Let's go around to the other side and I'll pick up with, with that. I'm gonna try to do this all in one take here as if you were right here with me. I've shown it to you. Um, all right, so where were we? The phone mount is uh, actually, it doesn't hurt the car in any way. It mounts right in the gap. So if ever you have a phone that does not have a magnetic back, you can just get rid of it um, and there's no damage. Uh, but um, it's a nice feature and it holds the phone in a really good spot right there. Let's take a look at this stuff in here. So. Here's the pen. So if you wondered what these are for right here, these two, um, these are a pen clip. And if you do a little research, and I had to actually find this on eBay, but this is the original pen uh, that came with the car. You get it in the packet uh, that has your specs. Uh, you get it about a month after you buy the car. And um, I actually had, I have the original, uh, but um, I wanted to keep that in the packet, so I found another one uh, that was a better color match to the car. So you might think I'm crazy that I want the pen to match the car, but I do. This has nothing to do with um, this has nothing to do with Porsche. Uh, I had this made at a uh, at a leather place. It's a leather pouch, and I keep my oh, it's a, it has the uh, the emblem on it for the company that made it the guys that made it, and then they they put a Porsche in there. Uh, and what this is, is where I keep my registration and stuff. Um, so registration and insurance. So nice nice leather packet, kind of an overkill, but uh, but that's, that's what that is. And I don't think there's anything else in here. Um, okay, next up, I gotta look at the list. Oh, we covered everything on page one, so we're on the home stretch. All right, next up is fire extinguisher. So um, a lot of times on the GT cars, you'll see the fire extinguisher under the passenger side. I put it under the driver's side. It is right here. I chose black because I wanted it not to be, you know, overly, um, overly obvious. You have to take the seat out basically to get it in there because it mounts on the seat posts or at least loosen up the front of the seat. Uh, but I like little things. When it's over here, you can really see it. It's very noticeable, and it could potentially be in the way of the people that you're, that are with you. This is never in the way, and uh, God forbid I ever needed it. It's certainly within reach. Um, fire extinguisher. Okay, front camera and reverse camera and dynamic reversing lines. So I'll show you the front camera. If you were paying attention, you noticed it when I showed you the radiator. So it is mounted right here. And let me go ahead and open the garage door for the uh, rear camera and I'll show you the other stuff back there. So the rear camera is mounted in a factory position right here. By the way, if you uh, don't have that plate, uh, I mean, if you don't live in Florida and you want a uh, cool plate, I think flat six is a really cool plate. So I stopped the video here to do this voiceover on the license plate frame because I realized I completely forgot to talk about it. This is a milled aluminum frame with uh, matte black powder coating, security screws, also powder coated in the same matte black. It's milled perfectly. It's perfectly smooth. It's beautiful. Uh, it's like a hundred bucks and you might think are you kidding me why would i spend that much on a license plate frame look at it it just finishes the whole 
back of the car. And uh, I forgot to talk about it, so I uh, had to do this little voiceover real quick. Anyway, um, that's where the camera mounts back here. Here's a better look at the black logo uh, or emblem. Here's a better look at the filthy garage, uh, exhaust tips. I love these tips. They fill the space beautifully. The black chrome goes with the whole theme of the car. Just looks awesome. Hey, how you doing? Um, what was I gonna show you back here? The reverse camera. Okay, so to show you this other stuff, I have to uh, start the car. So I added, and I have a video on this, I added the reverse camera because this year didn't come with it. The front camera was just really kind of a might as well. And let me show you how it works. So, I'm gonna do my oil change. Anyway, uh, you put it in reverse, and the uh, reverse camera will come on. You turn the wheel. Okay, let's talk about all that. So, um, if you didn't hear me, obviously, just like any other car, you put it in reverse, and the reverse camera comes on. Uh, because of the way it's programmed and the way I installed it, you hit the Navi button twice, and it turns on the front camera. That is really handy when lining up a curb or seeing how close you are or if the curb's going to hit the front of the car. Pretty handy. I didn't think it would be as handy as it is, but I use it all the time. The dynamic lines were just an extra. They were kind of a might as well. They're nice, nice to have. And um, here is a better look, since the light is on, of all that beautiful leather in the uh, in the gauge cluster. And here, which you couldn't see before, is the leather um, fuse panel cover. Um, you heard the exhaust. Um, uh, you know, it sounds amazing. And um, Let's see, uh, trunk tub hood, all this stuff is under the front. Smart top controller, window tint, like I mentioned, some stuff is really little. Oh, let's look at this, seat belt latch covers. So, the seat belt latch covers are mm, right here. Now, these were homemade. Um, they were made out of leather, and uh, my mom actually French stitched this for me. So it's really just wrapped. The reason why I made them, or asked her to make them, was this would rattle. And it used to make me crazy. I like complete silence. Uh, I don't like any rattling. So I really made it because I wanted it to stop rattling. But um, they really look nice. You can see both of them. I think that uh, it adds a little something. And um, I've just, uh, you know, I'm very happy with them. Um, let's let's look at the list before we go to the front of the car. Um, so, oh, let me show you the key. Well, let's see here. The dust cover, the dust cover is, um, it's right up there in a bag, and I'll show it to you. Um, I, the, the key is body colored and red. So I painted this key fob red. I don't think I mentioned that as one of the things. Oh, I did mention it. Painted entry and drive fob. That's what that's called right there, number 48. So I painted this myself, but you can order it in red or you can have a body shop painted. Uh, this came out really nice, I think. And I wanted the key to match. So I made the center red and the outside the body color of the car. I really like it. I think it's really cool and uh, that is number 48. Number 46 is the garage parking stops. So that's these. If you don't use a garage parking stop, it's a really good idea. It gets the car in the same position every time. And in my case, where I want lots of room up here between the fridge and the car, uh, it makes it so that I get the car in the same spot every time and I don't hit the garage door on the back of the car because that would be awful iCarsoft uh, Port 2 code reader. If you don't, if you have a 911, you've got to get this thing. 
when you, if you change your own oil, if you do anything yourself, it will reset the car for you. Uh, it also, uh, you can change your battery. You can do a lot of things with this little thing from Amazon. Um, the dust cover. So basically what the dust cover is, I'll get it out last. Everything else is right here under the hood. Uh, so let me show you some of the goodies that I did under there. I don't know if I have to have the key on me to get this to pop. Is it gonna pop? There we go. I think that is a stupid feature. It never really works perfectly. But um, if you didn't know that you wave your hand to the this area of the emblem, it will open the lock for you if you didn't know that. Okay, so under here, we've got a few cool things that I added. First thing is this under here. It's not made by Porsche. It's made by somebody else. Uh, but if you ever put anything in here, first of all, I think it looks nice. The rest of it looks like this, right? It's just sheet metal that's been painted. But this insert makes it look finished. And it, more importantly, protects the hood from hitting anything that you put in, like a piece of luggage or something that's too tall. So that's what that's actually for. Um, then I added the Euro version. By the way, this is made by Audi. Um, but in Europe, uh, you, you have to carry around uh, a triangle if you get stuck on the side of the road. And behind the carpet is the mounts for it. There's two holes, and you basically just punch a little hole in the carpet and shove in this thing, and then, and then this just sits right in there. And... That's what the mounts look like. And I think it looks really nice. I think it looks, uh, you know, it just looks like you got everything that you could get. This is the original Porsche uh, first aid kit that came uh, in this version in 2013. Uh, I had to get that special. Uh, the one that they try to sell you now doesn't look like that at all. Uh, this is the factory tub that goes in in case anything leaks. That's an upgrade extra. And here is the factory oil. Um, it's basically a, uh, a little leather pouch and you've got a quart of oil uh, and then you've got a funnel, disposable funnel and gloves. And it, it just uh, attaches right there to the carpet. And, um, and that is the additions under the hood here. I think they're cool. Most people probably wouldn't think of this kind of stuff, but, um, but I think they're super cool. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video for a second so I can do two things. I can get down the cover and I can show you that and I can get down the black lights so I can show you those. I have these in black and I'm really excited to put them in, uh, but it's I've been working on other things so it'll probably be a little while before I do that. So hold on. In order to put the cover on, I have to raise the top. So I'll just show you that. You push one, two, three, four, and up come the window. Whoop, open, that opens. That comes up. And up come the windows. I love that. I just love that feature. And here is the dust cover. So I got this off eBay. It's just an iron on emblem. This is two black king size bed sheets. Uh, stitched down the middle and then hemmed with double hem with a rope in it to give it a little bit of weight. Uh, it's cut. Basically what I did was I put the uh, two sheets over the car and then um, cut with scissors all the way around, a little larger than what was necessary. And then my mom uh, did all the stitching for me and then I ironed on the uh, emblem. And it serves as an amazing dust cover. It, it's not gonna do anything outside, but if you uh, don't drive your car a lot, it's really nice once it's really clean. I hate putting it on when it's kind of dust dirty like this, but I did anyway. Um, it, uh, it is a great, great thing to keep dust off the car. And it was super easy to make and it's totally custom, right? So. Anyway, that's that. Let me get these lights down. They're right up there. Okay, this is number 51. Let's do 52 first, because it's really little. 52 
is, um, oh, you know what? I missed one of these. So I replaced this uh, with the aluminum version. And I also got rid of the little string. So when you're fueling, this goes here. And if you cut the string, throw that shit away, it will never bang into your car. Um, so anyway, this was on that list and I must have skipped over it or I just completely forgot because that doesn't come with the car. Anyway, number 51 is, uh, or 52, whatever, is a leather bib that would fold out and hang here to give a place for fuel to drip so you don't drip on the car. It's a, um, like an very, like a nine, like an early, early 60s 911 used to have them. I think the Singer 911s have them. Exclusive option is going to be making me one, and I think it's super cool, so I can't wait for that to come. It just fits in here and just lays here, and when you put fuel in, you just drop it down, and when you're done, you just cover it and close it. All right, now, here is the next big project that I'm doing to this car. This has the original uh, chrome lights. Uh, these, of course, have some dings in them. Um, I have polished them once, but... Uh, these are the amazingly beautiful uh, black GT3 lights. They are just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, this darker color actually looks amazing against this paint. You can see how this is like a, let me see if I can get both in the, in the screen. So you see how this is lighter? Well, that of course is darker. It's gonna just really uh, make the emblem and then of course the blacked out uh, logo in the back it's they're just, just going to be amazing uh, also which i didn't even know when i bought these when i bought these i thought you just got the lights well you also get this and this is shiny black instead of this which is chrome and what else this silver strip right there is black you can see it right there and um, i think the led has been upgraded uh, and it's slightly brighter. Speaking of slightly brighter, um, these are the high beams, these are the low beams. This high beam is, uh, what's the word, not LED? Um, I can't remember what, uh, halogen. Uh, those are halogen. Uh, I ordered uh, these, which were disappointingly expensive for a high beam that I'm never gonna freaking use, but it's an LED bulb, and you can see that you can kind of see the bulb in there a little bit. Um, this, where the heck are they? That's the HIDs. Oh, here they are. These are the LEDs. So that ridiculous looking thing, look at how beautiful that is. Like I said, these were disappointingly expensive. Well, you'll be able to see them in there. At least you'll be able to see them in there. And it'll be all black, and I think it'll just look really awesome, and they're super bright. And they match the K rating on these, which are new, um, brighter white HID bulbs that will go in these housings. And, uh, you know, back in 2013, Porsche really didn't use the whitest of HIDs, uh, and these degrade over time. So my goal is uh, that these will look very, very modern. They won't be that stupid blue color. Um, they'll be a very, very bright white and uh, really make the car look um, very, very good at night. And uh, they will match. So the high beam, right now, these are white. These are kind of orangey and these are super white. Everything will be the same whiteness. Uh, that is what I believe will happen. Anyway, this is a project for the future, so if you wanna see this project, please subscribe. If you stayed with me this long, I really appreciate it. I hope you got some value out of this video. Um, I love this car. I haven't done a video on it in a long time. I haven't really even done a project on it in a long time, so I'm really looking forward to uh, doing these lights. And um, as always, thanks so much for watching and uh, please subscribe. See ya.